You right, YouTubers? Right, so we're going to have a look at why differentiation actually works. So, what we're going to do is, you can have a look for proofs of this as well to sort of confirm what we're going through here. But we're going to be considering delta y, and we're going to be considering the limit of delta y over delta x as it goes to zero is equal to dy dx. Remembering that we're taking the difference of delta y and delta x, so the ratio of the two, and we're approaching each of these as they get smaller and smaller till these lengths go to zero. And we can see, we take a delta y on top, take a limit of delta x goes to zero, our delta x on the bottom being delta x, and we get this term here. Looks a bit confusing to start with, but I'm gonna go through an example and show that this does actually work. So the example I'm going to use is a function of x is equal to x cubed. So what we do is we take, originally I'm not going to write the limit to zero, I'm just going to rearrange this first and then we'll take our limit to zero. So we'll just algebraically solve this first. So if we've got x cubed, we have x plus our delta x, all cubed, minus our x cubed all over <coughs> delta x. So now we're going to sort of deal with this and solve this out. Um, first we're going to deal with this bit up here. So for those of you who don't know how to solve a two terms being cubed in a bracket, I'm just going to go through. So First what I'll do is I'll put one term outside and we're going to have um, just it squared first. So we have x squared, we have delta x by x twice, so 2x delta x, and then finally these two are multiplied together, so we have delta x squared. Then we can multiply these two together, and we have x cubed plus 2x squared delta x, this goes over to here, plus x delta x squared, and our delta x here, plus delta x, x squared, 2x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. So we can have a look and we say, right, we'll sort all this out. We have our x cubed and our delta x cubed. They're two easy terms to get rid of straight away. Our x squared with one delta x, so we have two there, one there, get rid of that, get rid of that. So plus three x squared delta x. And then we have an x with a delta x squared three times as well, so plus 3x delta x squared. You can see how that works then. Each of the two are cubed and we have three lots of each where we've got a squared and a, and a single and a squared and a single with the two things you have in your bracket. So if you didn't know how to multiply them out, that's how we do it. So we can rewrite our term up here. So now we have x cubed plus delta x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared. Should I write that out right? I think so, yeah. And then our minus x cubed. And then all of this is over our delta x here. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to get rid of that and that, so that's fine. Now we divide everything by delta x, so we'll get rid of this and we'll say that goes down to squared. On this side it's 1, so that term goes just here, we can get rid of our power. And now what we're left with, we can go back and we take our limit as delta x goes to 0. Then as delta x goes to zero, and what do we have left? We have 
delta x squared plus 3x squared plus 3x delta x. And that's all we have. Now, we take the limit to 0 here. Um, we haven't got to use any other rules because we're not going to have divisions by 0 at the bottom and by the top. We haven't really got to deal with anything here. So we can see delta x here. So this is going to be equal to, so this is 0. No delta x is in this term, so 3x squared. And just here we've got a delta x, so this is plus 3x by 0. This is just 3x squared. And if we go back and we know what the derivative of f prime of x is, we move our 3 down, keep our x, we knock our power down by 1, 2, 3x squared, 3x squared. Works. And that's why differentiation actually works.